Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna share some more dressing rules I think everyone should learn. But today's video is a special holiday edition full of tips that will hopefully make getting dressed this holiday season as easy and festive as possible. So let's get started. My first dressing rule is that you do not need an entirely new outfit just for the holidays. Instead, I really encourage you to look at your closet with fresh eyes and rework things so that they feel festive. And in my experience, I'm able to do this by changing up one or two things in outfits that I already love. So maybe I'll add a festive barrette or a great brooch, a really bold necklace, a bold lip color, a festive shoe. Just something with a little bit of sparkle and pizzazz is all that it takes. So I really love doing this with my closet in general, but especially around the holidays. That way you prevent yourself from buying things that have one use and one purpose. So along those same lines, I think you can never go wrong with a little black dress or a dark suit. The key here is to find something that really flatters you and makes you feel fantastic, and then have fun changing it up by changing out your shirt, your shoes, your accessories, the things you wear over it, your hair, your lip color, your makeup in general. And just by making small tweaks like that, you can really take one piece and wear it the entire season. My next dressing rule is to always follow the dress code. Dress codes are so important for any event that you're going to attend. And if the host has gone through the trouble of giving you a dress code, it means that that's very specific and thought out. So it's out of respect that you participate and follow it. Now, it can be really hard to understand dress codes and they can be incredibly confusing. And it seems like the rules kind of change all the time. So what I've done is I've put together a quick crash course with some visuals to help Help guide you along. So let's start with the most formal first, and that is white tie and black tie. These are going to require floor length, very formal dresses or gowns for women. And for men, with white tie, you're going to want to go for a suit or tuxedo with a vest and a white bow tie. And then for black tie, you're gonna to wanna to go with a suit or a tuxedo and a black bow tie. Cocktail attire seems to be the most popular dress code. It's something that pops up everywhere, and especially this time of year. And I think it's very easy to dress for. So for women, cocktail typically means a really nice dress and above the knee is totally appropriate in this instance. And then you can even wear a great pantsuit. So what I really love for cocktail attire, especially during the winter, is a beautiful dress, a nice cocktail dress, maybe something with a print and then a tuxedo blazer. Oh, I think it's so endlessly classic and chic. I love it so much. And for men in this instance, a suit with no tie is perfectly acceptable. Next is smart casual, which is sometimes called business casual. And there are really no rules when it comes to this, but you should always opt for slightly dressy. So I like a nice blazer in this instance, maybe some nice trousers, and then a beautiful pair of shoes, and you should be definitely good to go. And for men, the exact same rules apply. So you're gonna wanna go a step above maybe what you wear every day, and make sure that you look like you put some effort. And the last dress code that I think is very appropriate for this time of year is festive attire. And this can be the most confusing out of all of them because there really are no rules and festive can be subjective. So I've tried to come up with some things that make it a little bit easier to navigate. So for women, festive attire can be anything from a cocktail dress to a long dressy skirt, maybe a really fun top, and then dressy pants. Maybe you can wear suit separates and pieces that have something festive thrown into it. So this really is something totally up to your discretion, but I think you can never go wrong with a little bit of sparkle and if you like to maybe a bold red lip that is going to make even your most basic outfit and much like we talked about earlier feel super festive and appropriate and for men the exact same applies here except what i think is really fun in menswear is to wear a really fun tie something with a great tartan print or a really beautiful plaid that feels festive maybe even just a simple silk red tie would be really nice or a bow tie i love bow ties and especially this time of year i think they always look great and then for both men and women, I think a really, really fun thing to play with in this category is a festive blazer. So again, something in tartan, something with a beautiful, bold, maybe sparkly buttons on it, I think is fantastic. And something that just when you look at it, you feel festive. So it doesn't need to be an ugly Christmas sweater, but it should be something that feels very holiday appropriate. My next dressing rule is a helpful hint you can keep in mind to figure out the appropriate heel height and hem length for your event. 
So typically speaking, the more formal an event, the longer the hem. And I think that gives you a lot of flexibility with shoes. You can wear low heels all the way to really, really high heels and not feel out of place. Now, when dealing with hems that come at your knee or above your knee, I think a good tip to keep in mind is to remove half an inch from your heel height for every full inch at your knee or above your knee the hem goes. So as you work your way up, I would get lower and lower in your shoes. It typically always works out. It always makes me feel like I'm dressed appropriately. I don't feel underdressed or overdressed. And it's just something that's been really beneficial over the years. So I've been able to take a cocktail dress and even if it is on the shorter side, wear it with a super low kitten heel or even a festive flat and not feel underdressed. And there you have it. Those are some holiday specific dressing rules I think everyone should learn. I hope that these were helpful and they eliminated at least a little bit of the stress that comes with this time of year, certainly around getting dressed. And I'm wishing you all a very, very happy holiday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.